What's up, Internet? And welcome to the Hardware Sugar Kitchen. Today, we're trying a new recipe. Gusto namin, affordable, pero performance. And to do that, we have two secret ingredients. We're pairing something a little old, so parang queso or fine wine, and something new. Our first secret ingredient, the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi. But wait! Aren't these motherboards usually for 11th gen Intel CPUs? They are, but a lot of people forget that they're still compatible with our second secret ingredient, which is a 10th gen Intel CPU, specifically the i5-10400. So something which is just slightly old with something new. And again, our goal here is to have an affordable performance pairing. How do these two mix together? Let's find out. First things first, this is a sponsored video, so ASO sent over the CPU and the motherboard and we received compensation to highlight certain features of the product. So was the recipe successful? If you have Intel 10th Gen, most likely your motherboard is a B460 and the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi offers substantial speed boosts compared to that old motherboard line. More importantly, practical yung mga speed boosts na nandito sa B560M Plus Wi-Fi. For one, it has native support of USB 3.2 which manages a blistering speed of 10 gigabits per second. So mabilis na lang yung paglipat ng files na na-download mo from EZTV. I, I mean yung mga work files mo na galing sa local hard drive to your USB with a much faster speed of USB 3.2. The motherboard also has USB-C slots. At mas mabilis rin yung mga downloads mo kasi yung B560M Plus Wi-Fi comes with Wi-Fi 6 which is the fastest Wi-Fi standard now. Alam naman natin lahat na baliwala lang yung mabilis mo na internet kung mabagal yung internal network mo. And to be honest, before I wasn't a believer in Wi-Fi. Dati gusto ko pa rin yung lumang LAN cable. Pero after trying the Asus motherboards and Asus laptops, I'm a believer now. The Wi-Fi is excellent. It's just as good if not better than the wired connection that I'm used to. And speaking of wired LAN connections, even that is substantially upgraded. The standard speed for most LAN connections on most motherboards is 1 gigabit. And that standard has been around for years. But the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi more than doubles that with a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet controller. So if you want to go wired, that's super fast as well on this motherboard. And still on the fast side of things, this motherboard supports a blistering RAM speed of 5000 megahertz, which is insane. <laughs> You're well positioned for any future upgrades if you have anything even approaching that kind of RAM speed. Finally, for productivity, this motherboard also features Asus's two-way AI noise cancellation. This is a godsend for people who are working from home but in the background are noisy cars and shouting neighbors and banging things and falling things and alam mo naman, sobrang ingay sa atin. And this AI feature strips all of that out. You don't need to use an Asus headset, you don't need to toggle any setting, walang mga complicated na kailangan pa baguhin, it just works. And the other people on the call that you're talking with will not hear any of that background noise. They'll only hear your voice. And it works both ways. So kung maingay yung kausap mo, hindi mo maririnig yung ingay niya. Just his or her voice as well. I've tried this ASUS technology before with the ROG Strix Go 2.4 and the Z590 Plus motherboard. And both times, the implementation was excellent. So in this video, we're currently testing two-way AI noise cancellation from this ASUS Stuff B560M motherboard and yun, uh, this is the audio from the motherboard and that's the audio from the camera. Arr, 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 arr! Pali! Gusto nyo ba ng pera? And as you can see, this is the audio from the mic. And meron lolo ang gusto bumili dito ng parts. Ang value eh. So yan eh. Ito yung audio sa, uh, sa mic. 
Cancel siya, hindi totally pero cancel siya, pero in usual Tapio ka! As you can see, so yun, uh, ito yung audio ko, ito yung natural na boses ko. Hey! Yan yung mga noise. Yan. Um, hindi siya totally nawawala, pero cancel, uh, minimal, minimal yung maririnig niya. <laughs> minimal yung maririnig niyo. Alright. So yan, that's the test. Meron ka yung 30-10? 30-10? Wala po. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Overall, this recipe of having a slightly older CPU and a new motherboard is a nice bridge if you will be upgrading to 11th gen Intel. So you can purchase first the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi. You'll get all of the speed boosts that I've talked about. And then later on, you can upgrade to Intel 11th gen for that PCIe 4 goodness. But enough about productivity. How does it game? Does this recipe also give you a decent gaming rig on a budget? For gaming, we tried this build in Dota 2 and Valorant, both popular games which do not have demanding requirements. In Dota 2, we were getting an average of around 56 frames per second. In Valorant, where a high frame rate is essential, we got a very decent 71 frames per second. And that was on medium settings. Basically, anything above 60 frames per second is very playable, so these results were not bad for this setup. To further your gaming experience, this combo would also go very well with a graphics card, so you might want to consider slotting that into your upgrade path. Those last two cards though might be overkill. Whatever upgrade plan you have in mind, you can always depend on this board which has an enlarged VRM heatsink, something which enthusiasts always obsess about, as well as M.2 heatsinks. In short, the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi keeps cool everything that needs to be kept cool. It's certainly an interesting contender if you're looking for a budget all-around work-slash-gaming PC. The Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi serves as the gateway to several practical speed boosts while you're waiting to upgrade from a 10th gen Intel to the 11th gen. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tugo puan na to. Dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.